Are we heading for a K-shaped recovery? Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. If you've been watching the channel for some time, you'll be, remember I've been discussing, well, the concept of a K-shaped recovery and if we might see one here in Australia. Frankly, I think we've seen, well, a differentiation in the impact of COVID and lockdowns on different parts of our society. So while you have the, well, government employment and bureaucrat class unaffected. So some people don't realize, don't understand why people are taking to the streets. They, they can't comprehend it. We saw Dan Andrews making quotes like that. People are losing their livelihoods. That's why. So let's, let's have a look at this because honestly, I think this is definitely going to happen and it already has been. We've had the K-shaped economic impact of government intervention. So a K-shaped recovery is when Different parts of the economy bounce back at different rates after a recession. Australians are hoping the reopening of the economy will be swift and permanent, but some experts are warning of a potential K-shaped recovery. A K-shaped recovery would mean dramatically different recovery rates and financial impacts for different sectors of the population. The economy fell by 1.9% during the September quarter, the third largest quarter and quarter fall in Australian history, tailing a 2% fall in the June quarter of 74 and the catastrophic 6.8% fall in last year's June quarter as the pandemic took hold. A big drop last quarter was thanks to the extended lockdowns in New South Wales and Victoria. The fall is of concern, with Treasurer Josh Frydenberg describing it very much a lockdown story, although the number wasn't as bad as initially feared. Yahoo, um, writing for Yahoo Finance, Stephen Kukulis said, all competent economists also know that economic output is changing back in the December quarter and that growth will be strong when those numbers are released in early March 2022. The momentum in the economy is set to continue into the first half of 2022. Retail sales surged in October. Business investment is set to rise at a stellar pace and the inventory rundown that undermined the September quarter GDP will soon be reversed, adding a sizable chunk to the output over the next few quarters. A K-shaped recovery happens when different parts of an economy perform at different rates. The financial performance of different sectors, industries, groups, and people within an economy always differ to some extent, but a K-shaped recovery would see the performance diverge wildly, with some parts seeing strong growth and others seeing sharp decline. Now, we've seen that in Australia due to HomeBuilder. Government intervention in the market to stimulate the economy to mitigate the effects of the lockdown has exacerbated the K-shaped recovery. Now, if you're in the housing game, you're doing it well. If you're in retail and your business is locked down, if you've got a little cafe, you're screwed. This is what happens when the government intervenes. And remember, housing is the favorite tool for both sides, labor and liberal, to intervene to stimulate the economy. They get their best bang for buck. So, Matt Rod, head of research at accounting firm Findex, said the, the phrase was novel, although there were historic instances of a K-shaped recovery. It's a relatively new terminology, which was brought to life to explain the sharp recession during 2020, he said. We saw consequent uneven, recover- we, we saw consequent uneven recovery, where some sectors and industries were clear winners, while others were severely challenged, such as tourism and hospitality. So he said lockdowns and remote working caused the divergence in the performance of certain sectors in the economy. From a COVID perspective, we saw technology, software, and online shopping thrive whilst the population was locked down and working from home. On the other hand, retail, travel, and hospitality struggled and are still yet to recover. We need to also apply this to society at large. Job losses and income cuts were significant to some while others made more money from the opportunities COVID presented. In other words, some segments encounter a V-shaped recovery, while others face an L-shaped recovery. The uneven growth and recovery was also fueled by the strong fiscal and monetary support by the government and central banks, respectively. The support, specifically the lower interest rate, is necessary to avoid long-term recession. However, this mainly led to growth of financial assets and has had a lesser impact on the real economy. 
how this Aussie economy has fared. The COVID-19 pandemic and its associated lockdowns have had a major impact on Australia's economy, as told by the sharp fall in GDP last year. Household spending declined by 4.8% in the September quarter, while spending on services fell 58 However, the household saving ratio, which represents the total amount of net savings as a percentage of net household disposable income, increased a whopping 8% to 19.8%. Board said the GDP had fallen in the September quarter following four quarters of positive growth, which recovered the 2020 COVID-19 losses. The most recent print of the GDP is negative 1.9%, which is well ahead of the market's expectation of negative 2.7 decline, he said. So should Australia be worried about a K-shaped recovery? So, Ward said, a K-shaped recovery couldn't be ruled out. Potentially, there is definitely sectors and segments of the market that will continue to struggle, he said. If you dig deeper into unemployment data, it is obvious that the lower to medium income earners suffer significantly more job losses or wage cuts than those on higher income. Solving this is not a simple question. How do you ensure the recovery is even if people are still unsure about travel or if they have challenges, changed their habits in terms of working from home, they don't visit cafes anymore? So let's have a bit of a talk about this, guys. Honestly, I would argue we're, we're seeing a K-shaped recovery. We've seen a K-shaped impact in the economy. There's been a sharp divide between people that have actually been impacted by this COVID lockdown intervention and those that haven't. Just have a look at the housing industry. Some people are doing real well. Some people are, are flat out. Other people, the industry, their businesses are struggling. So, guys, check out this video from October in 2020 about the K-shaped recovery. We were talking about it back then. Hopefully, hopefully the economy will pick up and we'll start to lose this K-shaped recovery. Take care and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.